All right, guys, how's it going? What is happening, YouTube? What is happening, Twitch? It's that time. It's that time. Another Epic 7 video. Another Flex Friday. Another Flex Friday, guys. Uh, we are on episode 11, guys. Episode 11 of Flex Friday. Uh, we've almost done this series for a whole entire three months, guys. One a week, man. One a week. Almost three months of Flex Fridays. Um, I've been enjoying every minute of it. So let's just hop right in here, man. Let's just hop right in here and uh, talk about some of these units. Because there's some units in here there's some units uh so the voting system is going to be kind of weird uh we're, we're going to vote on the stream afterwards um i haven't set up a straw poll for it unfortunately i didn't have time um so we'll just kind of just do a weird vote we'll see how it works anyways let's hop right in here guys we got ourselves a bbk blood blade karen blood blade karen she's beautiful she's deadly and she has leggings, guys. And she has leggings. Um, so, so, so we're, she's rocking adventure pass set here. It looks like uh, par partial adventure set. Partial adventure set. Uh, rocking R and L, 80k CP, 3,157 attack. Um, she has 194 speed. Critical hit chance 100%. Critical hit damage 192. Um, this chick is going to be a beast. Um, her buffs are really, really good. Uh, she now has the ability. She now has the ability after she kills somebody. So let's just say you have, let's, let's just say you have a 40 Judith on your team. Okay. A 40 Judith and BBK comes in here and slays your 40 Judith. She's going to get an extra turn guys. And she's going to kill somebody else because that's what she does. Uh, she's actually a really, really good counter also against, uh, uh, uh Arbiter Vildred who now can re -res and be a pain in the butt. She can cut in with an extra turn, take them out. Um, very, very beautiful. Uh, RNL, um, maxed out, has a 20% chance to grant an extra turn at the end of turn. Can be activated once per turn. Um, so if you have BBK and you've been sitting on her, uh, there's no reason to sit on her anymore. If you're looking for some excellent cleavage, um, she can handle that for you. She can do that for you. She can, she can fill your cleave team needs that you've been needing. Um, so excellent, excellent job. Uh, this one was done by Sony, by the way, Sony. I, I think I forgot to mention that. Um, so yeah, Sony, Sony, good job on your BBK. Um, look forward to seeing some more impressive builds by you. Time to get those. Uh, uh, t time to get that drool on, guys. Uh, we got this, the the best cleavage in the game, ML wise. Uh, those that know me know I'm a hu huge, huge, huge Vildred fan. So I can appreciate an ML Arbiter Vildred, especially now, especially with his buffs. Uh, Arbiter Vildred here is a freaking beast. Uh, so Arbiter Vildred has a full, cool, some cool things going for him now. Uh, when he dies, he resurrects at 100% CR combat readiness. Gets full focus and is able to S3 again. Absolutely devastating. Um, so, so you need certain things to counter this guy now, um, which is really, really cool. Um, so Arbiter Vildred is rocking on him Dust Devil here. Uh, so on Dust Devil, Dust Devil um, has, I think, a 30% chance. Um, I'm actually struggling getting artifacts up on the screen. There we go. 30% uh, chance maxed out for a basic attack after attacking with a basic attack. If the current target survives, you can proc it again. Uh, this guy is rocking a destruction set with a crit set here, um, rocking 60k CP, uh, 2900 attack, uh, speed is 125, critical hit chance is 100%, critical hit damage is 236. Uh, Arbiter Vildred is just after doing one thing. You want to see our push into him, let him do some heavy damage to everybody, let him die, and let him damage everybody again and wipe out the team. Uh, there, there's going to be a bunch of different Arbiter Vildred builds out there, but this is one of them. Um, you just want to do that big damage. Um, Arbiter Vildred is deadly. He is extremely deadly. Um, and he's a five star ML, so, you know. Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, nice Arbiter Vildred Pat, and I, I really like him. Um, definitely, definitely. Uh, you got some gear to grow into too here. Uh, looks like you're going to get some more crit damage out of that necklace. Uh, looks like you could probably get some more attack out of that ring. You could even replace that ring for a better uh, uh, crit ring too. Maybe the Adventure Path crit ring. 
But yeah, Pat's an excellent, excellent Arbiter Vildred. I, 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 I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I like Arbiter Vildred. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, guys, but that last one was done by Patton. Uh, this next one here is done by Roach. Roaches. Roaches Kin, guys. This is the kin that you do not want to run across on the battlefield. This is that kin during Guild Wars that you attack and you realize, ah, oh, crap. I may have messed up, guys. I may have messed up because this guy isn't fun. Um, so this kin here is rocking Portrait of Saviors. Portrait of Saviors has a 20% chance to increase your damage against an enemy that's above 50% hit points. 20% damage maxed out. This guy's rocking a speed set with an immunity set. So turn one, he can't be uh, uh, disabled um, by Dizzy's. Um, unless they dispel it. Uh, this guy's 58k CP, 19.6k uh, health, 195 speed, 83% chance to crit, 173 crit damage, effectiveness for he does he's not worried about being effective though he's not. Uh, this kid is a beast, is a beast. Uh, this dude is thick. This dude is like this dude's thick and fast, man. Um, you're not expecting to run across the kin like this. You really aren't. You really aren't when you step into a uh, Guild Wars match or even in the arena. You're not expecting to run across a kin that has 195 speed. And the minute you realize he has 195 speed, it's probably already too late and he's already done his damage. Um, so Roach, man, you killed it with your kin. I like your kin. If I had kin, this is what I'd want to build my kin like, I think. Uh, very, very nice Roach. All right, guys, we got ourselves a Crozet here, man. We got ourselves a Crozet. This one's from Arthur. This is the Crozet, man. This is the tank of tanks, man. Uh, this guy is 100%. Uh, I, I laugh at Wyvern 11, and I eat Wyvern 11 for lunch. Uh, if you're looking if you're looking for a real thick tank uh, and you have Sword of Ezra and you're able to do this build, um, this is a complete option here, man. Uh, this guy is rocking sort of Ezra, which reduces the damage by X amount. Um, where's that at? Right there. So uh, it reduces the damage by 30% against the elite or bosses. Um, so reduced damage by 30%, super huge. Uh, that's why this guy is able to rock 12.6k hit points. Uh, this guy is rocking a defense, a health, and a resist set. 88 88 percent effective resistance 27 percent effectiveness uh 12.6k health uh and defense we're just gonna say it's 2000 defense because it's close enough 1997 1997 uh this crow's that super thick man great wyvern 11 tank for sure that that's what this guy's built for that's what he does well um you know what arthur good job on this uh uh wyvern 11 tank uh really really enjoy uh seeing your crow's that uh, if I'm not mistaken, back in the day, I was able to take them for a test run, too. All right, we got ourselves a Violet here. This is by Stillo. Um, Stillo. Uh, here's my Violet. Hope you guys like him. Well, we like a lot of Violet. Violet just got a huge buff, too, guys. Um, an extra 5% evasion. 5% evasion, man. An extra 5% evasion. Um... On his S2, he is able to remove two debuffs. Uh, Violet just became a huge, huge Dizzy counter. Um, Dizzy is forced to always attack him, and Violet's always going to counterattack. And you can remove those nasty little debuffs that Dizzy throws on you and counterattack Dizzy to death. So if you've been struggling, if you've been struggling with Dizzy's and you have Violet, Here's your answer right here. A Violet just like this. This is exactly what you need. Uh, so with this Violet here, we got the Moonlight Dream Blade. Moonlight Dream Blade is amazing. Uh, Moonlight Dream Blade is going to increase your evasion by just a little bit extra, man. A little bit extra. Maxed out is a 20% chance to increase evasion chance. After successfully evading, the caster is granted increased attack for one turn. Yes. Yes. Uh, rocking a lifesteal set. Uh, it's the only set you should be rocking on uh, Violet, to be honest. Uh, yeah, you can build a chunkier, harder hitting Violet. But when you have that lifesteal set in and you're countering and you're healing yourself back, it's just beautiful, guys. It's just beautiful. Um, so rocking part of a, uh, a lifesteal set. Rocking a two-piece crit. Uh, going in here with 72k CP. Uh, 30,700 attack. Uh, 12k health. 183 speed. 
81 critical hit chance, critical hit damage is 159, and the effectiveness is 24. Um, so there's ser there's several different ways you can build Violet. Um, some people choose to build Violet a little bit quicker. I feel like quicker Violets work really well for Guild Wars. Um, slower, I mean, it just depends on what you need. It depends on what you need on your team. Um, some people think you should build Violet super slow. Some think fast is okay. I think fast is okay. Mid-tier fast is okay. Um, slow makes you get to your S2 a little bit slower. Um, so if you're going against a team that's super fast uh, and they keep on hitting your Violet, they're going to kill themselves. Um, I think going both ways is fine. Uh, I don't think there's a right or wrong way. Um, I run myself a mid-tier fast Violet and he does work. He does work. Let's go. Let's go. 55% evasion chance, right? Right. Still a nice Violet. I like him. I like him a lot. So as I was just saying, uh, I think this may be the first taste I've seen on Flex Friday. Uh, rocking RNL. RNL is a beautiful artifact. I think we mentioned that a little bit earlier, but we'll mention again, 20% chance to be granted an extra turn. Uh, rocking a speed set here. We got a speed set on with a critical hit chance. 93 KCP, 2,800 attack. Uh, 215 speed, wow, okay. I, I wasn't expecting that speed. 92% uh, crit chance, uh, 253 critical hit damage. Uh, tears apart Golem and uses them on Guild Wars offense and defense and enemy won't expect a fast boy. Yeah, I wasn't expecting a fast boy. You got me there. Um, so uh, this is from uh, Kai... Ki... Key in. I think I got it right. I think I got it right. Anyways, um, yeah, um, you wouldn't expect the fast uh, um, haste here, man. 61% uh, effectiveness. Uh, you're going to walk in this battle and slow, uh, uh, be surprised. Be surprised. Oh, I like this haste, man. I like your haste. Uh, key, key in, man. Key in. Uh, I appreciate you doing a haste on here. Um, caught me by surprise, for sure. But uh, good job, man. Good job on your haste. All right, we got a soul, the bad guy, the soul bad guy. Is he really a bad guy or, or is he just really good? Or is he really good? Uh, I think he's really good. So we got a soul bad guy here. Uh, this guy's running Portrait of Saviors. Uh, you know, basically 20% extra damage against anything above 50% health. Uh, this guy is rocking the attack set. This is done by Chang, by the way, guys. This done by Chang. And this is a uh, super, super flex. Ooh. Um, so rocking, rocking an attack and crit set. Uh, rocking 85k CP, man. Um, 4,096 attack. That That is disgusting. Uh, rocking 121 speed. He doesn't need to be fast. He doesn't need to be fast. He, he's he's going to be slow like Golem, and he's going to hit like Golem. Uh, critical hit chance 100%. Critical hit damage 275. Ooh. This dude this dude is thick. This dude is thick. Uh, this soul bad guy hits like a truck. Um, this soul bad guy, uh, we, we have something else special to show you right here. This is a soul bad guy. Flex on damage. Uh, this is what Chang soul bad guy does to Golem here. It looks like we're rocking a greater attack buff on Soul Bad Guy. We are rocking target. We are rocking defense break. And we're hitting Golem in the face for 97k damage, guys. 97k damage. Chang, man. Chang, your Soul Bad Guy is a beast. He hits hard. I love it. Uh, thank you for this, Lex. And thank you for showing that beautiful, beautiful number right there. Because... Uh, you absolutely, absolutely just destroyed that golem. That golem didn't even know what hit him. He had no clue what happened, but it happened. It happened and he died. Uh, so thank you so much for that, Chang. All right, guys, we got ourselves another Dizzy. Dizzy's all over the place, guys. Dizzy is all over the place. And she's back again. Uh, rocking, rocking her own artifact. Ooh. Ooh. She's rocking her own artifact. That's, that's nice. Um, rocking a speed set and a hit set on her. Um, her own artifact is Spirit's Breath. No, it's not Spirit's Breath. My bad. Necro of the Undying. Uh, 
Uh, Nexus of the Undying increases the caster's combat readiness by 20% after an AoE attack. Uh, this effect is not activated uh, by counterattacks, dual attack, or extra attack. So uh, she gets 20% combat readiness every time she does an AoE attack, which is really nice. Helps speed her up with that 224 speed she already has. Um, if you've ever been lapped in the arena, um, Dizzy, Dizzy can do that, especially with her own artifact. It makes you really sad when, yeah, we won't talk about it. I'm, I'm having, I'm having some PTSD right now of some dizzy fights. Um, so let's, let's go into this. Uh, 48 case AP, uh, 1,500 attack, uh, 1,499 attack. Uh, health is 14k. Very, very nice, thick dizzy for having 224 speed. Uh, 26% crit chance, 155 critical hit damage, effectiveness is 73%. Um, she's doing exactly what she needs to do. She's fast enough, fast enough to drop in a disabling bomb on everybody. Um, she's able to go in there and lap people and do a CR pushback. Um, she has thick enough hit points where she can take a good hit, man. So... This right here, this Dizzy is absolutely amazing, Seath, man. You're killing it. You're killing it. Right side is hit point percentage, neck and ring with speed boots. Wanted to hit, wanted to hit 230 speed, but unlikely. Uh, you'll get there one day, Seath. You'll get there, man. Uh, dude, I like your Dizzy. I like your Dizzy. Make it happen. Make it happen. Uh, don't forget, Dizzy gets a 75% uh, seventy five percent stun chance on defense. Ooh. All right, guys, we got ourselves the beautiful, the wonderful Karen. Avris is not here. Avris is missing out. Um, we'll, 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 this is for you, Avris. This is for you. This is from Ryzen, man. Um, this Here is my Karen. I use her everywhere. I hope you like it. Uh, so this Karen's used everywhere. Probably just got through doing a little bit of Wyvern 11 farming. Uh, rocking Joker right there. Um, maybe some Abyss or something like that. This Karen's rocking an attack set with hit set 90k CP. Uh, 3,400 attack. Ooh. Uh, speed is 167. 167. Critical hit chance is 100%. Exactly where you should be with Karen. Critical hit damage is 222. Effectiveness is 68%. Um, she is the perfect Wyvern 11 Slayer right there. She, she slays dragons for a lay of in, man. She, she's a dragon slayer, man. Uh, this Karen's super thick. She's going to do some damage. Uh, you could probably take this Karen against a Arbiter Vildred. Um, go in with an S2. Uh, kill Arbiter Vildred and then finish him off with an S3. Just some thoughts. Just throwing out some Arbiter Vildred counters out there in case in case you, you're looking for some. Um, Karen might be able to fill that goal with this this type of setup. Uh, um, rock Rocket Portrait to Savers, maybe. Uh, this Karen's dangerous, beautiful, and I like it. Uh, Raisin Man, Ryzen, I appreciate your Karen. Nice Karen flex. All right, guys, we got the beautiful, the wonderful Kisei. Kisei banner's up right now. Kisei banner's up. Um, and here's a Kisei build. Um, Kisei is beautiful, elegant, dangerous. She has a scythe. I mean, what, what, I mean, why wouldn't you want her, right? Uh, Kisei is definitely waifu material, 100%. Uh, so Visor said here, uh, this is from Visor. She's not the best, but she's my waifu, and she's getting there. You know what? If you like your waifu, invest in your waifu. Happy waifu. I don't. I don't know what. I don't know what the rest of that is. But happy waifu, happy something. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so what we got going on here? What we got going on here is we got ourselves a key set, rocking the attack and crit set here. Um, we are rocking. Is that Windrider? Yeah, that's Windrider. We're rocking Windrider. Rip Windrider nerf. You'll forever be remembered. Um, so we got a maxed out wind rider that increase a uh, cast stealth and increase attack by sixty percent for one turn when an enemy is defeated. Um, so with a kisei like this, man, you go in with your S three, you kill somebody, you you, you you pick you pick on that you pick on that weak unit that CR pusher on the team if you CR push into her or something like that, or, or you just find that weak weak link in the uh, the team. And you go in there. You hit them hard. She goes into stealth mode. This one's rocking uh, 74 KCP, 3,366 attack. Um, speed, speed is 154. 
critical hit chance is 100%. Critical hit da um, damage is 200%. Um, effectiveness 22, effective resistance 43. Uh, this Kisei still has some room to grow too. Um, has some boots to grow into, has some more attack to get out of a ring. Um, that's the scary part. That's the scary part. This Kisei is going to easily, easily um, hit 3,500 attack. Um, maybe even get a little bit higher on some other stats, which is going to be really nice. Uh, yeah, this Kisei is beautiful. She's dangerous. I like her. I like her. All right, guys, uh, take number two. Uh, we got ourselves a Sid here, guys. This one's from Revy. Uh, we got an Exorcist Tomfa on uh, Sid here. Um, Exorcist Tomfa maxed out gives you a 16% chance um, to do damage against enemies with more than 50% health. It, it is basically the three-star version of Portrait of Savers. Portrait of the Savers was a limited artifact. So if you don't have Portrait of Savers, Exorcist Tomefoot is a great great option in place of portrait of savers uh rocking a speed set here with the crit set um assassin sid uh all maxed out to 82 kcp 2800 2818 attack uh speed is 213 critical hit chance is 82 critical hit damage is 251 um this uh, sid's just a beast man sid's just a beast uh I'm, I'm assuming i'm assuming there's a cr push here sid goes in there sid goes in there softens them up a little bit maybe kill somebody off um sid's also another option um if you can hit hard enough and the arbiter vildra does not have enough hit points sid's another option you can go in there and do an s3 get an extra turn if you kill the enemy off and then go in there with an s1 uh not guaranteeing sid's gonna have the dps behind him to kill arbiter vildred but you know it could be an option it could be an option who knows um could be an option but yeah uh revy very very nice sid here uh really like him um he looks like he does work uh, i'm, I'm a, i appreciate sid myself too um i've been working on my sid on my alt account and uh sid is a monster sid does a lot of work uh faster he is the the, the, the more he the, the harder he hits he, he does work he does work all right guys we got ourselves a says here this says is from myoko chan uh, so crit damage neck and then an attack attack man um so this is this is a says this is your option this is your option for a says since the wind rider nerf is gone um says is not dead it says is not dead he can still do work guys he can still do work just the wind rider says combo isn't good anymore so you can rock portrait of saviors here guys portrait of saviors is a perfectly great option for your says man you can go in there and do that extra juicy 20 percent extra damage um going in there with a attack set here and then a broken set uh rocking 73 73 kcp uh 4166 attack um 120 speed 73 percent crit ch critical hit chance critical hit damage is 279 279 um, just going in there, making sure you get that one person deleted, uh, soften them up, maybe go in there with a cle uh, another cleaver right behind that to clean it up. Uh, those are some options you have, um, with a team like this. Um, but yeah, awesome says, um, I'm sure he definitely, definitely can take out like a crawl or something like that. Um, those super, super tanky, uh, rule, rule of lights and stuff like that with this type of damage. Um, definitely, definitely Mayoko, uh, nice says. Nice says, loving it, loving it. All right, take number two on this one, guys. Um, so uh, this, this we got a Kisei here, guys. Kisei from Dave. Uh, Dave is rocking a level one Portrait of Saviors. Uh, increased damage dealt by 10% um, is what that one's going to offer for right now. Um, is rocking it looks like a great piece of gear right there that great piece of gear is coming from uh, the the secret shop rank 50 guys nothing wrong with doing a little shopping with some sky stones and some gold uh, you can get some beautiful pieces of gear in there um, a lot of people underestimate it because they're like hey i'm not gonna wear a great piece of gear but when you're doing it on rings and amulets it's not a bad idea it's not a bad idea trust me trust me you can do a lot with great pieces of gear um especially early on especially early on even late game too so what we got going on here is we got an attack and crit set guys of 76 kcp we're rocking four thousand 
over 4,000 attack, guys. Over 4,000 attack. Uh, 136 speed. Critical hit chance is 83. Critical hit damage is 258. Uh, this Kisei is a Kisei you do not want to get hit by. She will delete you into the next world. She is the Grim Reaper. She is the Grim Reaper. Uh, yeah, beautiful Kisei here, man. Uh, I would be curious to hear what type of huge numbers she does on Wyvern 11 for sure. Dang. Dang, man. Dave, Dave, you're killing it. It's a crit damage neck with attack ring and attack boots. I love it. I love it. We got the beautiful, the wonderful Lu Luca. Uh, Luca is amazing. Uh, work in progress, Luca. Free to play, by the way, from Nostad. Um, has helped trivialize the abyss with her basically permanent defense buff, defense breaks, and reasonable damage as a as a Fasuedo support. Um, Crit damage percent neck, attack percentage ring, and speed boots. Um, also, best facial expression in the game. I'll accept that. I'll accept that. Hands down. Um, so what we got here, what we got here is a... Um, what are we rocking here? It looks like Spirit's Breath on Luluka. She is a mage, guys. Spirit's Breath maxed out. Um, at plus 15, as a 75% chance to decrease the skill cooldown by one turn when using a non-attack skill. 100% um, chance to decrease skill cooldown by one turn when maxed out was what it is. Is rocking an attack and crit set. Uh, so this is what I want to do with my Luluka. I want my Luluka to hit like a truck. I'm, I'm, and she's going to hit like a truck like this. 80k CP, man. 80k CP. Uh, 3,673 attack, 158 speed, 82 critical hit chance, 254 critical hit damage, and 63 effectiveness. This Luluka, like, one thing I will say about Luluka, guys, is I don't really see her a lot in PvP. Um, I, I've heard she's used in PvP. Um, but in PvE, man, she is so, so freaking good on morale when it comes to raids and stuff. Um, so freaking good on morale. I'm working on my Luluka. I'm trying to get my Luluka better for she can she can help carry the damage in in in, in the new raids in, in, and maybe even hell raid. Maybe she can help keep me alive. Uh, I'm trying to improve my Luluka because I really love having such high morale from a character and she really kicks it out there. Um, she's definitely definitely not a terrible unit. I like her a lot. Um, she does what she does very, very well. A support DPS and I absolutely love this character. Nastad, Nastad, thank you so much for uh, showing us this beautiful Luluka. Uh, I, I definitely appreciate this one. All right, we got ourselves a Kisei here from Ninja Man X. I had some little changes after a gear swap, so she has an imprint now. Ooh, nice. Um, so, got ourselves a Kisei here running Joker, as running an attack and crit set. Um, 80k CP, 80k, 86k CP. Wow, words are difficult, guys. Numbers are difficult. Math is hard. English is hard. Um, <laughs> 181 speed, 82% critical hit chance, 245 critical hit damage, um, 23k on S1 on defense break on Wyvern 11. 23k damage, man, on S1. That is beautiful. Um, she is a really good uh, Wyvern. Um, chunker she can do some good damage to wyvern i do recommend her as a wyvern unit uh her alexa are probably the the the, the better wyvern chunkers in my opinion um chris drive thanks for the fall man uh but yeah also also just She's just amazing. She's beautiful. Like, why wouldn't you want this unit, man? Why wouldn't you want this unit? I love this unit. Um, but yeah, great job, Ninja Man, uh, on on this beautiful, beautiful Kisei. Um, so that's gonna end it, guys, for Flex Friday. Um, so we're gonna be doing some voting um, after after the video here. We're gonna be doing some um, voting and stuff on um, which units are gonna win. Um, so if you want to hop over to Discord, um, choose your favorite. Uh, maybe we'll skim through these pictures real quick. But uh, stick around, Twitch. Stick around. Um, but everybody from YouTube, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I enjoy doing Flex Friday. We've almost done three months of Flex Friday, man. Um, Flex Friday, hands down, my favorite series. Uh, every time I watch Flex Friday and I go back through the videos, every time I'm reading some of these characters off, I'm like, man, man. 
I would love to build my character like that. Can I make that happen? Can I make that happen? And so many builds out here are inspiring. Everybody who does their submissions on Flex Friday, thank you so much. I appreciate your uh, submissions. If you're interested on submitting to Flex Friday, you can go to E7 Flex Friday uh, and submit in there. I will shut it down after about 15 submissions. Uh, I need to keep these videos shorter than 30 minutes. Um, so if I can hit like a 25 minute mark or something like that, that's what I'm aiming for. Um, trying to keep the video short and sweet. Uh, it's a little hard though, because everybody wants to flex their favorite tunes, uh, favorite characters. Um, so with that being said, don't forget to hit that like like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on notifications. Uh, we are working on doing seven videos a week, guys, for Epic Seven. Um, regardless if it's a, if it's an abyss fight, a boss fight, or something, we're, we're looking to do seven videos a week. But currently, we're doing like five. Five. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you guys have a good one. Twitch, don't leave. <laughs>